Hey Stampers, it's Gina again and I've been having a scout on Pinterest and the internet and uh, I saw a lady do this card and it was beautiful. Um, so it's called a diamond top fold card. Um, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I've used my, what's it called? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. This, the better, I don't even know what it's called. But it's got those beautiful vellums in there, designer series paper. Let me have a look through the book and see what it's called. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. It normally comes with a white card at the back, but I don't think this one has this time. There it is. Oh, the Floral Romance Speciality Designer Series paper. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the paper, but I'm this, I've done the green one, I don't want another green one, so I'm going to do the next one in, in the pe petal pink. But I've put a piece on the inside as well. And this does fit, believe it or not, in a normal size envelope, even though it's too big. It pokes out the top. But if you send it to your recipient like this, it fits in perfect. All you have to do when they open it up then, is just, when they look, they'll go, oh, and then... If they close it the right way, they'll know that that's the way the card goes and that's the way it stands up. So, absolutely gorgeous and like I say, fits in a normal size envelope. How wicked is that? What a lovely, lovely thing. I just love it. I wanted to add a bit more detail on here. I might get some ribbon out for the next one actually. Yes, I think I will. I've got some beautiful, beautiful ribbon. I don't think this will go with the pink, but I'm fetching it in anyway. What do you reckon? I know it's a different colour, but it, it will really set that off. Oh, that is so pretty. Yes, I'm going to have some ribbon on this one. Love it. So, there's my envelope for that card. This is the pieces you're going to need for this card. This is for your sentiment. There's my envelope. <laughs> so your card measures seven by nine and a half. You're going to need... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I've covered all my measurements up. So you're going to need two layers. One is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this one is four and five eighths by three and a quarter. But we're going to mark and and cut it off because of the slanted piece which goes under here so we'll mark that after and another piece for the inside we'll mark them as well they're both the same size you've got a scrap then for your sentiment and the leaf but I might even add more on the next one because there's more space for me to highlight I couldn't put too much green against green it was just not it was clashing a little bit so and then your designer series paper is cut one eight well this one's actually cut three by three because I didn't have it quite enough without having to cut into another big sheet so this is three by three this one is four and a half by three and one eighth so it's got a tiny little border all the way around and we're going to be slicing that as well. So we'll come to those pieces later. You're going to... It's so simple, this card. It's unreal. So I'll put it in at the long side and score at three and a half. Turn your card to the short side and score at three and a half. How simple was that? Now, I'm going to go in at four and a half inches. I'm not pressing, I'm just going along. I'll get my ruler actually. Four and a half with the little point. And I'm just coming to the middle and I'm gonna make a mark just either side of that line. Then at six, um, six and a half, or is it six? It's six, six inches. I'm going to make a mark there and there. Because I know that's my six inch line. Because I've got a red line that runs all the way down there. So. 
And then what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this out, keep it hold of your score tool, knock everything off again. <laughs> you are going to then put your ballpoint on the six inch mark and you're going to score to that middle centre line, to there. And then you're going to flip it and do the same on this side to that six inch mark there. And that's all you're scoring. You can now pop the tool away. And you're going to simply just fold your card in half. Score. And then we're going to fold this in half and score and then we're going to fold and now this is your score line so you are going to bend and fold it this way and you're also going to bend and fold it that way Oops. making sure you keep the card together and then what you're going to do then is you're going to simply just bend and flip. So you're going to make sure that piece goes up and that piece comes down. And then you can just score. I'm going to make sure my card is together though there. So I'm keeping hold of those two ends. There we go. Just putting my score line straight so my card stays together. How simple was that? So now we're just going to layer these up. Oh my gosh, how simple. So this is my layering card. So this is going on here. Perfect, and then my designer series paper. Is going on top. And I'm a silly sausage. I've just added, uh, no, it's fine that one. It's this one, I don't want to. So, open up your card. to that position again. You're going to take one of your layers and you're going to position it where you want it. So making sure you've got the same distance top and bottom. See how your point is away from the top? So you really want to make sure that's level. And I'm going to mark about an eighth of an inch down, just there, and I'm going to cut all the way up to that corner. So the best way to do that is grab your trimmer, put the corner in the track line and that mark you've just made. Take your blade halfway through, whoops, cut back. And then there, because sometimes it can, and I didn't go quite to the corner there. Because sometimes it can buckle, so I need to trim, because that didn't cut very straight that time. I should have done that on my guillotine, really. That's, there we go. So, now you can just layer these two pieces together. You want to make a mark you can just give it a little and then you can do the same again and cut perfect and what I did with my designer says paper was I attached it like so 
and because I want a little eighth of an inch gap so I'm going to put my card there on the corner lift that up one eighth of an inch in fact I'm going to lift it up to a quarter of an inch because I need an eight, a little eighth bit at the bottom as well straightening up my card so I've got equal distance just flipped it over while I'm losing my pencil and then drew a line across there you could use your scissors and cut it off in one go and now when I flip these I know that piece will give me that one eighth of an inch border all round perfect So you can do it with your trimmer or you can do it with scissors. It's entirely up to you. So we'll disregard those bits now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this. I'm going to add some ribbon first, actually. I'm going to have some ribbon around the bottom. So I'm going to use double-sided tape. I think it lasts longer. Perfect. You could go wild, you can do whatever you want with these cards, but they're just beautiful. You can make big ones, small ones. I wanted one that could, would fit inside a normal size envelope. So I'm going to go about... About an eighth of an inch, about a quarter of an inch up. Just going to wrap that round. Isn't that pretty? I know it doesn't match, but it just looks so pretty together. That is absolutely gorgeous. So now we can glue that on. On the ladies whose measurements I cased, there's a lady called Rosalie Martin, and her website is Sparkles Sparkle Designs. So if you want to pop over and have a look, you're more than welcome. If I remember, I'll put the link below. I'm terrible for that. Not not giving people credit, but forgetting to put the links on. But I'm sure if you just typed in Google Sparkle Designs, Rosalie, R-O-S-E-L-I, Martin, Google will automatically fetch it up for you. So oh, then we're going to diamond fold our card. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. We're going to have some in the inside as well. So I'm going to open my card back up. This is just so you can write a message. on the wonk there but it's perfectly fine oh I love it love it love it love it so do you remember when I sat last week or was it the week before and cut all those pieces of the vellum out I'm going to use some on here I'm going to pop a piece on the inside and have it coming off this corner how pretty is that going to look I 
And once it's stuck down, you can't see the glue. Oops, don't move it, that's it. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And then I get a smaller piece here. Just going to add that to this corner here. And you can't see the glue mark. It's just gorgeous. How pretty. Oh my gosh. Right. Um, da -da 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 -da. Put my glue away for a moment. How quick and simple was that to put together? One. Four score lines. Beautiful. I'm going to use some more of those, I think. So I've got this gorgeous leaf. I want that one again. I've got that fabulous sent sentiment, which says, oh, I just love it. It says, you are the best thing I never knew I needed. Absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. And we've got more of those going on. So where's my dies? There they are. So I did this this way. So I'm going to stamp my message in there and I'm going to use pear pizzazz. I think the pale pink's too pale. Or you could use fresh fig. I'm going to just stamp this though and see what it looks like. Oh, it's a little pale for me. I'm going to do the leaf. So I'm going to spin this over. I'm just going to stamp my leaf there. So pretty. So pretty indeed. So I'm going to cut that out. And then I've still got space. Oh, I haven't. I'll get another piece. Let's see. I'm going to put my leaf on that one, I think. And then I can have my sentiment cut out there. So I'm going to cut these pieces out first. And then I'm going to stamp. cards. Oh, I just adore them. Oh, I've got a gap there. So I'll carry on peeling. Oh, oh I didn't tell you what. No, that's fine. Don't worry, we can recycle this because I'm going to have my leaf overhanging. We can recycle anything. Arr, she says. Right, there's my leaf. There's the one I just die cut out. Oh, silly sausage. Should have made sure. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So, obviously, this is going to be the right way around. And my leaf is going to cover that up. So, yay. <laughs> I'm just going to swap my ink. <clears throat> and we're going to have a bit of fresh fig. So I'm going to clean off that. So I don't want green and fresh fig together. 
Well, I do, but not on the same stamp. Make sure this stands out well. Oh, that is so nice. And because those little flowers I'm going to add as well are in fresh big, they're going to it's going to match up lovely. And I can make sure that this is over here or like that. Perfect. So I'm going to glue that on now. Just add in glue to this side. Let's grab the paper just in case. Beautiful, beautiful. I might just add one more actually. Let me pop this on our beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just have a look. Oh my word, how pretty. And then I've got some more of those little flowers. There's my little one. That's going to go on there. Now it's pulled those colours together. Just beautiful. I can add some now on here. Those gorgeous vellum flowers. Absolutely stunning. Love them. I said I'd use them up, didn't I? Beautiful. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue under the tip here. Perfect. Do we need another one? Yeah, I'm going to stick that one there as well. Oh. in my throat. I'm just going to overlap that one slightly. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. We've got them on the inside and the outside. I put my ink away before I Put my elbow or something in that. I've got more of those little flowers. I can add those to this anytime. Or a different card. Um, there's my little gemstones. I'm just going to add ones to the flowers. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you could even add a bow if you wanted to. Let me see what it would look like. Or is it going to be too thick? Oh, 
Turn it inside out, back to front. <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely the wrong way around. That's better. That's better. I'm sure I'll have to cut that one then. What do you reckon? I could add a bow there. Or on the side there. What do you reckon? Should we have one on the side? Or down there? Yes, let's get one on. My glue's decided to clog up. Thank you, Mr. Glue Bottle. There we go. That's how I clogged you. That's better. Leave that for a few moments to uh, set. Beautiful ribbon, absolutely gorgeous. And there we go, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, it's come off. I will keep my finger on there for a while. <laughs> or I might use some double-sided tape because I think that tends to stick well as well. So I've got my fingers one-handed trying to pop my dies away. <laughs> there we go, they're in. That will stay on there eventually, but it'll take a little bit more time. But again, if you open your card and Oh, it's fell off again. I'll use some double-sided tape. I know it'll stay on then. The glue will help in the long run. That's better. There we go. Beautiful. And then you could either close it that way or you can close it. I, it depends on which way you've folded your card, but you pop that in. That will definitely fit inside your normal size envelope. And then they can open it back up. That is just too pretty for words. So there's that one. This is the one I must have folded it a different way. So, but you can just practice these, fold them different. There we go, that way. Perfect. Fits in there, lovely. And then opens back up just like that. Oh, I love them. So, there they are. There's the two diamond top cards. Um, we, I might add something else extra to that some at some point because. It's missing something, I think. I might even add another leaf, that one I've cut out there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Love them. So I hope you like. I would love a thumbs up and a share. And if you love what you, you love to watch in my videos, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and then press the little bell straight after. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. So I might cut that out actually. Um, I'm going to fussy cut it by hand. It won't take long. Yeah, I do try my best to upload a video every day. And sometimes with some bonus ones. And, uh... Oh, look at me in concentration. 
we're going to start doing the sketches as well a little bit different soon we're still going to do the weekly one i'm going to do a monthly one as well but this one is going to involve some prizes if it's a, uh, ranging from it's not going to be nothing major it's going to range from say some glue dots uh, or some dimensionals uh, or some some form of glue or tape just a little bonus and we're going to do some 3d projects and i'm going to i'm going to put a poll on them and I get people to judge the one they like the best and the winner at the end of the month will uh, receive a little gift and if you were in america i think carla's going to do that for me in the, in america because of the oversized over sees prices so let me just grab a glue dot a glue dot a dimensional take off the back and then this one can go to just down there like that so yeah come along come and start joining in with the sketches we love it uh, we're having so much fun so i'm gonna finish my cold cold cup of coffee now <laughs> And I'm going to say goodnight. See you all soon. Love you. Bye.